and now guys i'm watching the lines i'm watching how is built and the plastic and it's solid build the buttons are okay in touching the buttons because the build quality will demonstrate and will reflect the picture quality into the side what i don't like is that they put uh, a speaker in there i want to see if i will if you can see it's a speaker in there that it doesn't look good but but this is not a problem but you got to pay a close attention and if you are putting to the wall or to the ceiling come on you will not uh, see it and uh, from start i see two fans one is to the left side and one is to into the right side it has two fans and i think this is a trick to make it silent with small fans with silent fans you can make a silent uh, projector of course it has uh, 26 uh, uh, decibels it's a quiet projector it's not silent i said silent but you get my point and the projectors will be as silent as possible from uh, this year and the demands of the projector rises the demands of the customers and uh, the manufacturers starts to decrease the number of decibels to watch and listen to a concert with your speakers not hearing the fan of the projector which is the problem to the projectors full hd 4k projectors have two problems the light and the sound of the fan and of course contracts the resolution You'll not see a lot of persons uh, showing you the mounting mechanism, but you know, the other projectors have one screw. Here you can screw it into the middle, and this one has free mounting. Uh, you got to use a bracket or something like this, and you will mount yourself the projector. It doesn't have only one hole. In the front, we have to put on your table uh, to rise the projector on the table, you know this leg just one leg here in the front uh, i didn't tell you is the er i think at the buttons we have the menu button and exit these ones are for adjusting the picture enter button the source button which will switch between hdmi's the power button and the color mode and the blank mode we will see the blank mode the blank mode you know it's a pause mode the optoma didn't have this uh blank mode or everything black and also these guys i'm gonna watch and uh, i'm gonna tell you if the uh, when it's blank if it's a deep black you know that the optoma was a little bit of a brown and this will change the color and i'm very curious of the color accuracy let's continue guys now into the bag the connectivity and from start i don't see the that old vga port from the world laptops uh, and the it's logical the technology have evolved and we have hdmi 1 with hdcp 2.2 and hdmi 2 we have the usb-c that i i told you that the manufacturer put it to take the functions from your smartphone and you can make this uh, projector smart it's good uh, it's been great it's been great that this ViewSonic uh, implemented into this projector uh, Android because it's so cheap. It's an Android system to make it smart, but I think the newer models uh, ViewSonic will make them greater. And I appeal ViewSonic uh, to reach out to us when a new model is launched. Maybe it will give us an email to review it because you know no one will make the reviews as we do. So ViewSonic, email. We have the 12 volts out and um, this one is good because you can start another device with only one remote control. It's a trigger if you want this port. You saw uh, the new projectors have this function. I didn't saw guys HDMI arc that it supports to uh, pure and simple to turn on over the HDMI if you have a receiver if you start the receiver to start automatically start this uh, projector but you can do this if your receiver has also a 12 volts port it will trigger uh, with only one remote control the usb 5 volts is uh, for feeding a device if you have a google chrome you can connect it by this port and you can feed it to a hdmi 2 for example you can put the receiver into one and uh, 
you can connect them to the other port, the uh, Google Chromecast directly here, and you can make it a, a smart projector. And we have the Denon, you know, the S960H is the top of the S series. We will connect it with this projector. And um, this port, guys, is RS232. You can connect a deployable auto pulling, auto pushing uh, display. I'm referring to the retractable screens, automatically screens, that RS232 will help you this port. As long as the projector is on, it will uh, deploy your screen and it will retract when the projector is off. The power connector, the LAN connector, you have a LAN connector here and uh, here you can uh, lock your projector with the anti-stealing. Uh, you know, this projector is made in China, but I see the, the corporation of ViewSonic, it's in America. And guys, comparing the ViewSonic, the 701, for example, I saw, and uh, comparing with the Epson of uh, 2020, I think it was it were released. Uh, well, ViewSonic suffered uh, the lack of contrast. Was a comparison between ViewSonic and Optoma and Epson. At the 4K resolution, Epson lost. At the contrast, ViewSonic lost on free projects of comparison lost. But I've heard that the contrast of this uh, ViewSonic is well improved. It's another thing. So I'm curious if this is the projector of 2022 to last five or seven years from now, or why not longer if the lamp will hold you to have everything in your house. So giving a, a 1,200 as this projector costs, I don't think it's a lot. Uh, if the projector holds in time, it's a good quality. And if you have a true 4000 looks and if you have a true 4k resolution so let's turn it on and let's see it 